welcome to Wild Wallapai. In today's video, we're going to unbox this new Anchor Powerhouse 767. Uh, I believe it's one of the industry's best that's out there. And um, all the reviews that I've seen, including Will Prouse, who uh, I believe is one of the uh, best guys out there uh, regarding solar and his reviews and testing of these sort of things. And um, he says a lot, he has a lot of good things to say about this. So we're going to uh, unbox this and see uh, how, how it was packaged and what comes inside with it, what's included. Uh, Anchor is not a sponsor of this video. I paid for this myself. So uh, let's get right to it. First of all, I want to say that uh, the packaging so far is outstanding. A uh, couple little rips in the cardboard, but it doesn't go all the way through. There are no holes or uh, protrusions into this box whatsoever. Uh, so I'm confident that it's going to be in good shape. So we open it up and uh, there's a nice anchor box. It's pretty heavy. This weighs 67 pounds. Some of the others don't weigh quite that much. I did remove the straps. These had some uh, plastic straps around it. I had already removed those before we started today. Okay, nice box. The packaging on this is uh, top notch. Let's see what we find inside. Okay, right on top we have a bag here. Okay, it's accessories. Here is the solar inputs. Not crazy about the XT60 type solar uh, plugs. I wish it was MC4. Um, and I'm not sure I'll even find solar panels with this end on it, I'll have to find, I'll have to uh, get an adapter for that. Another good thing about this machine is it actually uh, accepts a thousand watts of solar as part of the charging. Here's the AC plug, typical computer type power supply, and a 12 volt plug. Kind of nice to go in a little bag. And here's the user manual. Anchor Solix 767 portable power station. 2048 watt hours. Okay, let's see what we can add in. Look at that. Nice thick styrofoam. That's the way to pack stuff. And here we are. Wow. I'm really impressed. There isn't a mark on this thing. Now uh, you're looking at the back side, obviously. That's where the expansion battery cable will go. And here's the uh, here's the solar input and the AC input for charging. It's not really that bad to manage. For those days when you do have to wheel it around and have this handle, I like this better than the EcoFlow 
because I believe the EcoFlow's battery's down here. So if it's sitting on the ground, it would be much easier to grab it right here than to go all the way down to the, the bottom. Pretty sturdy. Good heavy duty wheels. It's got uh, some bumpers right here. So if you need to set it up on the end, it's nice good bumpers right there. I really like how this looks. It has a good sleek modern look to it. The EcoFlow makes a good product, but it just looks dated. It's kind of clunky looking, you know, with all the straight edges. And... So, wow, this is really nice. Four ACs, 30 amp for your RV, 12 volt sockets, and all of your uh, phone chargers, USBs and such. Wow, this is really this is really nice. I, I'm I'm pretty impressed with this. Now, in addition to this, I also picked up the expansion battery, which gives it another 2,000 watt hours. So between the two, you actually get just over four kilowatts uh, for your, uh, your stuff that you're charging. It's not quite as heavy as the powerhouse. Same black box in here. Wow, I love this packaging. It's just really nice. It says a little bit about product, you know, the packaging that they come in. Thank you for choosing Anchor Powerhouse. Of course, this is the expansion battery. All right, right on top, we've got the user manual. Anchor 760, portable power station expansion battery. And this must be the connection cable between the two units. This is no joke, that's a big heavy duty cable. I don't know if you've seen the, uh, the cable for the Blue Eddy, but it's Looks pretty weak compared to this. This is nice. And you've got the uh, locking terminals on here. Let's lock it into the unit. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's nice. Again, yeah, look at that. Look at how thick that is. Nice stuff. Not nearly as heavy as the powerhouse. Same good looks. You know, it's real aesthetically pleasing to look at. I mean, it's just, you can just see how it uh, looks, has that water look to it. The thing I, the drawbacks for the anchor uh, power or the expansion battery is you can't use it independently. There's no outlets for uh, any power at all on here, um, which is a bummer. I mean, it'd be nice if, uh, you know, your buddy pulled up, you were camping and your buddy pulled up and needed some power. You wouldn't have to haul the whole thing over there. You could just unplug and take this and let him charge his devices or whatever. But uh, yeah, I have no complaints. This is, this is really nice. So let's stick it on top here see how it looks.
So with the both of these, it's just over four kilowatts. And I can't imagine anything that I've ever used while in my RV that would that this wouldn't handle. And if you've done any research on the 2000 watt uh, solar generators, um, you know that uh, Anchor makes such a great product with all their other things. I have several Anchor products, mostly for small uh, cell phone chargers, um, you know, the little power packs, portable power packs. Um, and of course they're A1. So yeah, that's nice. Nice good heavy duty wheels, looks like. Pull it around. Yeah, you wouldn't want to pull it on top of there, but just handle this uh, pulling handle to handle it if you had to. So yeah, I'm impressed. So that's it. That's the uh, Powerhouse 767 and the expansion battery 760. Four plus, I think it's 4.3 or something kilowatts of power. Uh, I'll be using this in my RV here pretty quick, about a week from now. And uh, we'll do some real world testing and uh, update, update you folks with another video on that. Uh, just typical RV stuff. You know, I'm not gonna take heat guns and all that kind of thing. Uh, I generally don't do uh, tests on this kind of thing. I leave that to the guys that have their little labs and such in their garage. And uh, Will Prouse, um, I watch his stuff all the time. I, I would encourage you all to go to his channel and uh, check out the stuff that he tests. That's one of the reasons why I purchased this one was because of his recommendations. And he tests everything. He gets it all. So, um, yeah, I would uh, definitely subscribe to his channel if you need to know anything at all about solar so that's it folks um, if you like this kind of content and uh, you want to see some more uh, from a guy that's not an mit graduate and just uh, you know <laughs> can talk straight up to you uh, please subscribe like and share and i will be putting out some more stuff here pretty quick thanks